Hi guys, welcome to this video in the series Java Tutorials for Beginners. In this video we're going to be looking at while loops and do while loops. So we're using the same class as we used for for loops, so it's just um, a method here as well, print numbers. Let's start out by writing while, uh, the parentheses, open curly brace and closing curly brace. So this is the while body. What exactly is a while loop? So a while loop is basically the very very similar to for loop it'll um, iterate or it'll repeat over a certain action um, so many times as long as the condition inside these brackets are true let's have a variable and we'll just say int val equals zero inside the while loop we'll say while val is less than 10 and inside we'll say so while the value is less than 10, we're going to say system.out.printline, which is going to print out the value val. So the other thing that we need to include here is val plus plus semicolon. It's going to print out the value, so which is initially zero, and then after it's printed it out, it's going to increment the value of val by one. So when we go back up to this point here, val is now going to be 1 instead of 0, which this would still evaluate to true because 1 we know is less than 10. So as we said, when it gets up to 9, and so, so imagine we've incremented now several times and we go here, so it's 9, val is 9, which is still less than 10, so it runs it. It runs this, it prints out 9, it increments the val, which... Uh, the val variable which would now be 10 goes back to here and 10 is not less than 10 so this is where the while loop would end so let's print this let's um, run this method and see what it looks like in our terminal window so we've got again 0 to 9 another thing that we can do is so we can have a do while loop so we've got this while loop here and what happens is that the while, the uh, condition, is the first thing. So let's have a look at what a do while loop is. So let's remove all of that and just say do open curly bracket, leave some space, close curly bracket. Then we're going to have the while at the end here. So it's going to be while and bracket. So we're going to say here um, val is less than 10. So and then um, semicolon. Inside the do, we can say system.out.println val. And we, of course, we need to declare val. So we're going to say int val equals, and we're not going to say zero like we did last time. We're going to use 100. So to just to demonstrate this, basically, the difference now with this do while loop is that with a while loop, it'll the first thing it checks is the condition. Whereas with a do while loop, this means that this piece of code here will run no matter what, because this check this for this condition is after. So in other words, in a do while loop, your loop code will always run at least once. So just under here, let's do val plus plus again. But we know that when we run this, because we've said that this always runs once, no matter what, this will definitely run, even though val is 100 and 100 is not less than 10, this will fail. But it will only fail after we've initially printed out this, because as we said, it this runs first. It runs first, it runs once, then it checks this, and then it realizes it doesn't, it's uh, failed. So it, it stops the while loop. So let's just see this in action. So let's compile new run the print method and you can see it prints out 100 but it doesn't print out anything else whereas if we did the equivalent of this if we went back to what we had previously and instead of using 10 we used 100 it wouldn't print out anything because it doesn't initially print out the first time like it does in a do while loop so that's basically it for this video i'm not going to go into any more uh, detail in while loops um, thank you for listening if you found this useful then please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe